not good. That's good. Hi. My name's Elizabeth. And I'm starting this vlog to sort of supplement my blog. Which is doing okay. I've had it for about a month. I'm really enjoying sharing the information that I have and researching new information for you guys. And I kind of just wanted to expand on that. Because this is the first vlog I ever done, we need to burn some incense to relax. I'll get the wild. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself today and I talk a bit about Samhain since that's what's coming up. Um, it's on October 31st. It's a lot of Wiccans and Witches and Pagans favorite Sabbath or holiday. Um, it is one of my favorites. Next in line would be Yule for me for sentimental reasons. Um, but I actually plan on doing several days of ritual for Samhain because the veil, as most people should know, the veil is quite thin at this time of year. And it's at its thinnest not only, it comes to its apex on the 31st, but for three days prior and three days after, it is still quite thin. And actually, depending on who you ask, some might say Samhain is on November 1st. That's also part of the day reason I want to do several days of ritual. And the apex of my rituals will be around midnight, October 31st, November 1st. I took this out of my shop. I took the listing down. I figure I need it myself. Anxiety, read it. Anxiety is incense. <laughs> But, um, anyways, I've been practicing Wicca on and off for a little over 10 years. Um, mostly solitary. Right now I'm part of an outer court group, um, the Gardnerian tradition. And I also receive private instruction. And I am very interested to hear all what you guys do. I actually kind of wrote my own tradition in the time that I was solitary. I would be happy to share that with you in future posts. Now, for Samhain, the moon phase it corresponds most with is the new moon. I actually believe the moon phase will be dark, if not new, at this time of this year. And obviously the season is autumn. Colors that you would associate with it and that you'd want to use to dress your altar or your candles or wear in ritual garb are black, orange, brown, gold, red, silver, yellow. Um, you know, typical fall colors, really. And I put on my ritual jewelry to do this because it's very calming, especially the moonstone and labradorite. It's got the labradorite ring, rainbow moonstone ring. Um, I did have a moonstone bracelet, but it broke. Um, Labradorite nose <laughs> and moonstone, rainbow moonstone earrings. And the overzealous, overzealous jewelry, ritual jewelry wearer. Way too much of it. Um, trees. I know why are you thinking trees matter, but like. You know, the leaves or the bark from it that could be used in, say, an incense you want to make would be apple, beech, um, blackthorn, locust, pomegranate, willow, um, witch hazel, yew, um, as for actual herbs, 
you'd want to use angelica, catnip, garlic, heather, mugwort, sage. Those are all herbs that are attuned directly with this time of year. So if you want to blend them and use them to sprinkle around your circle, anoint yourself with the essential oil for the blessings. Um, there are a few more. Let me take a look what I've got. I actually have a blog post that goes more in detail with the correspondences if you want to check that out. I'll include the link. You'll never see me without a Coke stand on. Or a cup of coffee. There's a lot of them, so I won't list all of them here. But allspice, bittersweet, um, mullein, patchouli, cedar, cherry, elder. Um, raspberry, vanilla, mandrake, um, myrrh, star anise, strawberry, coconut. There is a lot of them. Um, as for outright incense and oils, there's cedar, cinnamon, eucalyptus, ginger, lavender, lime, um, sandalwood, copal and many more gemstones that you might want to use in your workings consist of carnelian got carnelian and tiger's eye onyx which i also have onyx. amethyst i have amethyst too um bloodstone cat's eye oh no this is tiger's eye um, jasper, quartz, and more. Gods and goddesses associated with the holiday would be um, Hecate, Inanna, or her form Ishtar, Kali, Maka, Persephone. Um, gods would be Coyote, Hades, Odin, Pluto, Eronos, Osiris. Those are all great deities to honor this time of year. Um, symbols for the time of year would be like apples, autumn leaves, typical black cats, bones, cauldrons, pomegranates, pumpkins, the waning moon, divination tools. You know, just think what you associate with Halloween. Um, the intentions that surround the holiday would be like crossroads, darkness, death of the god, divination, honor of the ancestors, um, the other world or the underworld, visions, wisdom of the crone. Um, and really, any goddess in her crone aspect is appropriate. Um, and it's really all about death and transformation. It's, it's the Wiccan's New Year, um, end of summer. It's all about honoring those who came before us. The animals are really important this time of year. We want to honor the dead and knowing we will not be forgotten. You know, some customs include setting up an ancestor altar, costumes, divination of all sorts, um, jack carving jack-o'-lanterns, dumb suppers, bonfires, um, and that's all I'm going to cover for now. And And that's all about Samhain for today. And like I said, I'm going to post the blog link so you can get full detail because there's so much more information. And shameless self-promotion time. Moonstone runes of magic and healing available at my Etsy. Um, these runes are not used for divination. They 
like I said, are used for magic, healing, um, let me see, yeah, it, here's the information I found on them. Medieval runes of healing and magic are specialists. They were not used in rune casting, but for protection and healing and magic. In fact, they were mainly associated with gods and goddesses that were worshipped secretly in Christian times. And why would I choose Moonstone for this? Um, Moonstone is good for magic healing protection runes because it is a stone of new beginnings. It's a stone of inner growth and strength. It soothes emotional instability and stress and stabilizes the emotion, providing calmness. Uh, Moonstone enhances intuition, promotes inspiration, success, and good fortune in love and business. Um, it aids the, and you can make use of an elixir too, um, in chakra work. It aids the digestive system, assimilates nutrients, eliminates toxins and fluid retention. Um, alleviates degenerative conditions of the skin, hair, eyes, and fleshy organs such as the liver and pancreas. Um, it stimulates the pineal gland and balances hormonal cycles, being excellent for PMS, conception, pregnancy, childbirth, and breastfeeding. It is sort of a fertility room, great to use for fertility purposes. Moonstone is also beneficial to men in opening up the emotional self. So, shameless promo, same, shameless self promo over. And that's all. I hope you have a blessed day and I thank you for watching this video. I hope you come see my stuff again, check me out.